Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing the Shelby Super Snake Sport. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Ed Kenley Ford here in Layton, Utah, for giving me some time with this truck. This particular one and a couple others are still available for sale for the time being. So if you're interested, I'll include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently and obviously check out this truck as well. And then on a side note, if you want to save time money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering the Super Snake Sport is a supercharged 5 liter V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 775 horsepower and well over 600 pound feet of torque. And I love the carbon fiber here on the intake. And then you guys can see how they have powder coated the supercharger in performance blue. That looks absolutely fantastic. And would you look at that? Actually functional, but let's lower the hood that's very, very heavy. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, this thing looks so aggressive. You guys can see the venting there on the front. We got the stripes in the center, and then again, you guys can see with more venting, and then the supercharged badge. Now, sadly, Ford does not make a loaded up two-door truck, and so this is built off of a more baseline truck. So we've got the halogen lights for the headlights, but notice we got the Shelby logo here and the grill, and then the stripes continue all the way to the bottom. We do have fog lights with this particular truck, and then look at the front splitter there. Pretty crazy. When you put it all together, this thing just looks incredible incredibly aggressive. I love the aesthetic. Now coming around the side here, our time wheel setup is 305, 40, 22 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see with the wheels, you've got the Shelby Cobra there in the center. We've got Shelby there on the red brake caliper as well. And you know, I think the overall design, it works with the theme of this truck. We got these really nice body painted fender flares and then you guys can see Super Snake Sport right there and then Shelby down below or if the camera will focus on that, there you go. And then look at the exhaust tips poking out the side, that is so cool. And then you got a Super Snake Sport decal. And then taking a look at the side view here, this is where you guys can see the truck has been lowered. That is part of the Super Snake package. And they do upgrade the shocks and a lot more. I'll show you guys the sticker at the end of the video. But the two door version just looks so crazy. Now here's a key fob for the Super Snake Sport. You guys can see the Ford logo there on the back. It does have remote start, which is pretty cool. But yeah, again, more baseline trucks. So you have the actual like flip out key. Now this is random, but I just noticed this. Look at the stripes, how they just end. <laughs> like it's not in the center. Anyways, you guys can see they're all down the center here with the bed cap. <laughs> so at least, at least we got that going for us. We got the more baseline taillights you can get with the F-150. You guys can see Super Snake Sport right here. And then parking sensors at the bottom. And you actually have a receiver hitch at the bottom, which that means you could tow with this truck. Putting it all together, let me know what you guys think about the looks on the Super Snake Sport. I do kind of prefer the four-door look. I don't know why. Maybe it's because maybe it's because I have a kid now, but the two-door still, it's it's sweet. Now taking a look at the door panel here, they don't really change anything with this whole setup. So you can see this is all stock. It is cool that that's darker though. Windows are actually automatic. We do have blind spot monitoring with the mirrors and then you've got tons of storage here at the bottom of the door. Now this actually gets an upgraded payload sticker for this. So you guys can see you've got 1,433 pounds of payload, which is solid. Now it is upgraded are these seats. You can see the red stitching, Super Snake Sport right here. And then notice that's perforated all down the center. We do have our power adjustments here on the side. That part is manual. And then look at these pedals, absolutely beautiful. And then you do get nice stuff like pedal adjustment. You got your parking brake right there, your light controls. And then we got carbon fiber, of course. Yep, we got a flip out key. So I'm gonna go over the Shelby elements and then some elements that I think are important for this particular truck. We've got carbon fiber trim all around the steering wheel, which I think has a very nice look to it. And then we do actually have cruise control, funny enough. We've got our little turn signal winch with wiper stock, and then we actually have a column shifter with this. You've got your like M there at the end for your manual mode, plus and minus, so that you can shift the gears yourself. And then we do have a custom gauge cluster with this. It's really cool looking. We've got Shelby there, and then look at the, like the coloration. It's really quite beautiful i think um, but then the rest of it's just normal ford gauge cluster and then with the camera system we do have a 
I guess I popped it, popped it in neutral. Backup camera there with trajectory lines to turn at the steering wheel. Um, now this has Ford's smaller infotainment system that comes with this truck from the factory. But what's cool is there's more carbon fiber trim around the infotainment system and also down below as well. Single zone climate, which I mean, it's a single cab truck. You don't need dual zone. Now, because this isn't a Lariat or above, you've got Ford's uh, regular four wheel drive system, so no four wheel auto, but it does have a locking differential and it does have the drive mode select as well. And then you guys can see here with the center console and then they do upgrade this seat as well. So this one still has the cool leather added to it. And then you guys can see the 60 logo there in the glove box. And obviously the signature and the plaque as well on the carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is everywhere. Um, and then the rear glass here is fixed for those of you that are wondering. So here's a window sticker from Shelby American on this Super Snake Sport. You guys can see all of the standard equipment that comes with this. Now the important stuff is obviously the performance side of things. So you guys can see obviously like the supercharger and 775 horsepower. Um, but Borla exhaust. We'll see how that sounds once we do the... Uh, startup and everything but you can see the only option on this particular one is just black with the wheels and the exhaust tips which i think works with the theme of this truck black white contrast anyways total msrp 112,440 dollars for this truck and uh, for those of you wondering ed kenley ford does not mark up any of their products so if you want a great deal on a ford reach out to them let's see how this drives Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off in the Super Snake Sport. Here's visibility over the hood, both the mirrors, just do a blind spot monitoring, and throughout the rest of the rear. And, well, <laughs> let us set off in a, let me remind you, 775 horsepower, single cab F-150. Like, this is one of the craziest vehicles ever developed, period. <laughs> like, period, end of story. Um, yeah, the people over at Shelby American that thought this up, man, they, there's some crazy people. That's all I got to say. So right off the bat, the seats are actually really comfortable in this truck. So I think that is a big plus. And I actually got to lean the seat back a little bit more so you guys can probably get a better view. There we go. The response with this truck is so good. And I love the, I love the little bit of supercharger wine that you get. Um, now, I know that some of you will be wanting comparisons between this and the four-door version. I'll make a couple of those in this video where I'll kind of talk about both of them, but so far pretty comfortable. Not as comfortable as the four-door. The four-door having a longer uh, wheelbase, it, it does ride a little bit better. But something to note is the uh, setup, the suspension setup on this is adjustable. And so you can make it firmer or softer if you want. Um, I don't know what this is set at right now, but you, you can do that. Um, so that is another nice thing here with the super snake sport oh man the sound that you get out of this f-150 is so crazy i'm just kind of creating a little bit of space here with these people and then we'll kind of we'll kind of punch it here in a second oh, oh my gosh oh my gosh that is so crazy now don't get me wrong the regular super snake is insane but this being a smaller truck with the same exact setup it's just it's on it's, it's crazy it's on a whole nother planet it has so much torque and it sounds so cool you can kind of hear everything that's happening under the hood it's so fun and on the highway it actually rides pretty well it does kind of do a little bit of up and down but again you got to remember it's a lowered pickup truck so it's kind of it's kind of to be expected yeah, I kind of want to get on it just one more time because, man, this is... <laughs> Jeez. Pickup truck should not... Like, especially a two-door pickup truck. And you got to remember, I'm in two-wheel drive. This thing actually puts on the power amazingly well. Those 305 millimeter tires really help out. And the braking's better than I expected. But again, it's it's a pretty... It's a, it's a smaller pickup truck, right? So... 
The one thing that's funny is the steering, right? It's still normal pickup truck steering, so it's not as direct as like a sports car. So it's like you have all this power and then you got the steering that it's not like vague like a Wrangler, right? But it's it's uh it's not the most direct on the planet. Oh man, look, this is perfect. We got a Prius that we're gonna race. Do you think we'll win? Okay, well we got a green light. <laughs> This thing's a monster. Good job, Shelby American. So, setting things up with the Super Snake Sport. This is obviously gonna be kind of more of a niche vehicle compared to the Super Snake, because the Super Snake at least is a full four-door, so you could, you could technically justify that to the wife as a family car. Now, I guess if you're a family of three, you could justify this, because like the, since you have the bed cap, right, that's a trunk. So I guess you could justify this as, fa as a family car too, as long as you only have one kid. <laughs> Run into another red light, such a shame. It's, it means that I'm gonna have to accelerate again. I'm so devastated. I hate accelerating in this pickup truck. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> so fun, I love this truck. Uh, but yeah, more, like I said earlier, more of a niche truck. And so, you know, if, if you basically want like, I guess a sports car, but it happens to have a pickup truck bed. That's what this is. Seriously, like it handles really well. Again, the steering, it's, it's still pickup truck steering, but like, yeah, it's it just, it's so fun. There's not really anything, else, like there's there's nothing this competes against. Like, you know, the, the new Shelby Baja Raptor and the F-150 off-road, right? Those kind of have some, you know, those have like some competition with like the new Raptor R and the Ram T-Rex and everything, right? In terms, because of where those vehicles are priced at and all of that. But with this, like, Nobody makes a V8 supercharged single cab pickup truck. Like nobody. So <laughs> if you want something that's one of a kind on the market right now, check this thing out.